Hey, Yugi Two, get your paddles ready. It's your boy Anthesian here from Team N Dem Cheeks, and I'm proud to introduce to you guys my muse, my hard work, my scandalous, scaly, succubus, my rescue reptiles. Now, I've been working with this deck, building this deck for the last past months, even before I heard of the abysmal. And once they drop these guys, oh my god, this deck, I just fell in love with it. <clears throat> so I'm going to show you guys a couple of replays of this deck and show you guys just the power of a classic deck like this because it, it plays almost like a go format. And let's just get into it. Let's start it off right. We have three alien shock trooper, three tune alligator, one reptilian vasky. One Curse Dawn of the Abysmal. I think they changed it now, but I'm not going to use that name. <laughs> one Evil Dragon Anata. One Artifact Lancia. One Alien Buster. One Kage Tokage. Triple Rescue Rabbit. One Nahil. Drag of the Abysmal. Of the Abyss. And one Null. Uh, drag of the Abyss. Danger Suchinoko. Ash Blossom and Joy Springs. Yum. Yamori, Mori, Yamori, Yamoi, Mori. You gotta fix your your whole jaw to say that word. And <laughs> Reptilian Lamia, <clears throat> that rounds out our monster count with twenty one. As you notice, most of the monsters are reptiles. I like to build uh pure in a build. Um, the Ash and the Lantia is like the two non reptiles in this uh main. For the spells and traps, we have expect unexpected die one unexpected die at that one red geki one lightning storm um triple snake rain one heavy feather duster harpy's feather duster uh one snake lily of the abyss one uh three tactical talents or triple tactic talents uh one dark ruler no more one reborn one disparity one tune table of contents one call by the grave one forbidden droplet one twin twister one in perm, one foolish, and one painful decision. <clears throat> As for the main, I mean, for the extra deck, we have one link spider, a double reptilia echidna, a double alien shock troop in frame, one cosmic pincer zilor, zilor, uh, the king of the pharaoh imps, double, one cyber dragon nova, one vespinate, one Zeus, one cosmic uh fortress golgar one reptilian hydra one ntss and one invoked mechaba <clears throat> so the whole theme of this deck is basically to control the board with reptile monsters and use their effects um the ability to search their ability to uh do random effects, different type of effects to basically control the board and out resource your opponent. Um, the thing about this deck, the beauty of this deck to me is that, um, with the monster count being like it is, you see, it's, it's close to like an old school deck where it has 20 monsters and then, you know, pretty even in the spells and traps. Well, it really does allow you to play in a Highlander format with your spells and traps where only you only need one copy of pretty much any one even if you can play three just one will be fine because this deck it gets you to the cards you want to get to so fast that it it, it feels like you're playing goat um and and that's how i wanted it to feel um there's a new build that i have uh that you know which bitch bitch balkan <laughs> and um you just like do a whole crazy link thing but i think this deck is more stable and i think this deck realistically has a chance that you can take this to tournament and actually win because as you see i play the artifact lancia and the ash blossom but in the extra deck there's space very much space for uh other cards that you can actually put in here if you want to make it a less pure build and you can still kind of get where you want to get to we're running the three um the six uh normals because one two an alligator is searchable which really works well with some of the combos you can get into here with this link spider and um it's just a great deck so let me let's jump right into the games 
and I'll show you guys just just how beautiful this deck is. Um, let's start it out with the reptile workout. We're going up against uh, some guy named Joe. Poor Joe. Iceman Joe. He starts off with his searcher for a medallion, with medallion for the ice bearer, and um, these are the new ice bearer cards. So you know, let's let's. I could pause it, but um, yeah. I mean, come on, they're ice bearers. Oh, and he has the penguin brave, and he he thought he was gonna go for a nice penguin brave trick. Let's uh stop it real quick. He goes for the desert locust. I'm not sure if you know what the um, what these ice bearers do. So I'll give you a quick rundown. Uh, medallion of the ice bearers, the searcher of the deck. It just gives you um, ice bearers from your hand. Um, attendant. Uh, you can trigger this card. Uh, especially someone one level five or higher ice bearer monster from your hand. If this card is in your graveyard, except the turn it was sent there, you can target one level three or a higher water monster. You control reduces level by three. And then if you do special summon this card, but banish it when it leaves the field. I understand there's probably a reason for that, but it's just too many words, bro. Just too many words. Um, this is an old one, so eh, not too, not too interesting. This I believe, this card vessel is actually the important card of this deck. I think these two work together in tandem, or it's this one is it? Uh, while you control another ice barrier monster, you uh your opponent can attribute monsters. If you can attribute summon kaiju killer, that's amazing. Um, you can only use uh each of the following effects of the revealer. Yeah, revealer is the the good card. Uh, you can discard this card special summon ice barrier tuner from your deck. Also, you cannot special summon for the rest of the turn except for water monsters. And if you would uh discard or send a or send a card from your hand to the graveyard to activate an ice barrier effect, you can. Banish this card from your graveyard instead. So I believe you s reveal this. You discard one card, and then you special summon this. No, this guy right here. And then uh, while you control another ice barrier and defense monster, uh, <clears throat> while you control another ice barrier monster, defense position monster your opponent can controls cannot change their battle positions. You can only uh use the each effect. Blah blah blah. If you control another ice barrier monster, you can special summon this card from your hand. Yeah, so you drop that. And, um. If you control another ice barrier monster, you can banish this card from your graveyard, special summon an ice barrier token. So, all of that led to um, a Hawk and a Penguin Brave, which would eat special summon the Penguin Soldier, hoping to flip it uh, and then bounce two cards back. But he goes into Desert Locust and makes me drop a card from my hand, which would be good against any other deck, possibly. But, uh,. Now that we got through that, he goes into uh, Geomax Final Sigma. And uh, we just snake random. Go for Prosperity. Banish three cards. And we're going to add the Suchi Noko to hand. We go for Null. His effect special summons itself. We're going to drop the big four. And then we're going to add three Suchi. We go for Feral Imp. Feral Imp effect will search us Evil Dragon and Nada. And now we're going to Tribute. Uh, the effect of the monster we just tribute summon if we can. The effect of curse when this uh effect is I can tribute a monster I control and then I can special summon it, and then I can force my opponent to special summon or um, a monster from their graveyard. Well, actually, I think it's um, or I think they choose, but <clears throat> regardless, it allows me to special summon um a reptile from my graveyard also, um after that. And so I force him to summon back his monster so I can get my guy. Let me see. Link two. Into Echidna. Search the Lamia. Target that. It can't be targeted by my effect. No problem. We're just going to make Alien um, Shock Frame. Alien Shock Trooper in frame. So my thinking was I can at least get him to let me get a monster back. And from there, I'll bring back. Boom, boom, boom. I don't even know how to pronounce his name. And as you see, the uh, the text seems to have disappeared. But basically, what this card does is, if this card is um, if this card is on the field, once per turn, while this face up card is on the field, quick effect, you can send all face up cards. I mean, face up monsters on the field to the graveyard, except for monsters that were special summoned from the graveyard. So. It's a quick effect Zeus for non um grave monster. And it's reptile. You have to tribute three cards to special it from your graveyard, but there's ways to cheat it out as you just seen. So we bring out 
Oh my goodness. <laughs> OG do abyss. We're, that's what we're gonna call him. OG do abyss. <laughs> the deity. Okay, let's let's um so he has a three thousand who can't be destroyed by card effects, but I'm thirty one, so good luck with that. Do a little shenanigans, wipe his monster out. Set a card. Forbidden droplets. I have a monster with zero attack. He goes into Dugaris. And I drop the droplet on him. Send a monster that I was gonna put back in the grave anyway. Kills he kills himself. I don't even understand that. So he could uh <laughs> so he could evenly me. <laughs> this guy <laughs> Man, this guy he goes um he goes Dugaris, then he attacks into my monster so he can evenly match. Knowing that I'm gonna get rid of my other monster and then he lightning vortex. I mean lightning storms. You gotta love the effort, right? He was determined to get rid of that monster, but too bad for him. We had the upper hand with um with that baby right there. Okay. Am I using the wrong button? Oh, alright. Um with Evil Dragon Anata dropping and she's at six thousand and you you can see what's going on. That's game. Um Another good one. <clears throat> so I think we go first. We're going against plants. Oh man, Ash off the back. But this is one of the few decks that can play through hand traps. And um, well we we had a lot of options there. We go for the rescue rabbit. We're gonna activate rescue rabbit effect. We're gonna special summon two shock troopers. Um, the reason I chose to go into shock troopers over the tune alligator knowing that i had um if i would have uh chose the tune alligator i could have um special them and then got rid of the third one it's because i have a tune table of contents in the deck and i like to search the tune alligator specifically for this reason so that way when you summon off of um rescue rabbit you can go into link spider and then special summon the monster from your hand so that gives you like an extra layer you know what I mean? You get an extra monster out of it. So we drop the alligator off of the link spider, go into feral limbs, and we, we end it there. If this was a more meta deck, we'd probably be dead right now. But this guy uh didn't get the best of hands. I guess he's trying to play plant control. And we there goes that tone table of cons we were talking about. And uh there goes the combo we were talking about. Now we search and uh we're pretty set up at this point, so we're gonna send a monster to the graveyard off of one of our off on the hill, we sent curse and then curse effect, and then no special summons itself, and then we get another free search, and uh, we don't know what he got back there, so we're gonna just switch this to defense right quick. And I should have went into Zeus. I don't even think I was playing Zeus at this time. Yeah, I wasn't playing. Uh, oh no, wait, I banished a whole bunch of cards. Maybe Zeus was. No, I wasn't even playing Zeus at this time or Ves. As I said, I, this deck went through a couple transformations as I've been trying to figure out what's the best way to play this deck. And so he activated scapegoat. Just brung a whole bunch of he just puked on my field. I don't know. He just puked on the field. Um <laughs> He puked on the field with us. He got out somehow all of those monsters. Uh I don't even know. I'm looking at this and I'm like, man, this this seems good. He has the uh Black Luster Soldier with the Link Summon uh effect of Link Summon with a level seven or higher. So uh if this card is linked summon using a level seven or higher uh monster as material your opponent cannot target uh it with card effects also it cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effect like i think this card would be much better if the materials were more generic but then probably be busted and then he also has the um i peed up appaloosa with uh three negates so this is it's not bad definitely not bad for plants <clears throat> he's gonna crush my M frame, but I'm going to activate the effect of Gear and get negated. And then he's going to crush my other monster, but I'm 2k in the defense in the booty area. So we summon Alien Mars, do a little shenanigan, and there goes the big guy. So his effect allows you to tribute three cards, as you just see me tribute three cards, and then I sent both of them to the graveyard. 
Goodbye. Um, I don't even know if we crunched them, but um, activate this trader and get the search, and we go for pro uh disparity, which he ashes, and we say, you know what, tuna alligator is our friend, and we're gonna smack you with him, and uh, from here, he actually has a couple good cards in his hand. It looks like he can win this one out. But I still have yeah, yeah, and um, <laughs> I also have the other card that can just send cards for the grave, and uh, we make a kidna, turn that thing to zero, and a kidna can search us anything higher than zero. The normal summon turns into a special summon, and that is the game. So, you know, a little grindy deck, grindy, good grind. This time we're going up against. Magician Windwitch. Uh this is a build with a uh, Gamma Seal in there with um we were testing out some uh kaijus. We started off with the lightning storm. We go for Toon Table, they ash us, we gave them a Kaiju that he's gonna take advantage of now. Mystic Mind, this guy was trying to play nasty, huh? Uh, we said we're going to in turn take that 22 to the face. And man, if this was a more meta deck, it's, this probably would be game. But then we just draw that uh that, that nasty card, Snake Ring. And that sends a whole bunch of our, our reptiles to grave, which will, one will bring itself back. The other one will special summon with Monster Reborn, which will get us a search, which will lead to Feral Imp, which will also get us a search, which would be the Lamia, which will turn that to zero and special itself. Like crash over this gentleman. Um, one of the things I really like about Reptile Vasky in this deck, as you see, it has much um search power. The Lamia tar targets your opponent's monster, make it zero, and then it's a zero, so you can drop the Vasky on top and get a pop. So you take your monster, your opponent's monster away with the tribute, and then you can pop another card. Beautiful. As you see, we go into the Zeus here, <clears throat> and um, with the Forbidden Droplet, at this point, uh, he goes and he drops uh the Mind on us. And man, it was such a Mystic Mind, but uh, yeah, I don't know if that was the smartest thing to do because now I have Big Zeus, and he has Calvary. I mean, the Dark Magician. So we're gonna, yeah, I, I, yeah, he. We made him quit, guys. And he had more life with than us. Like. So, just so it's some of the beauty of this deck. This is one of my favorite decks right now. Um, Painful Decision. Monster, uh, Rescue Rabbit. We go into the Alien Shock Troop. They go to the Link Spider. Special Summon Tune Alligator. Drop Nahil. Drop Curse. Curse tributes to Link Spider. Curse effect. He has nothing in Graveyard. Nahil will come back. Uh, Nahil or Nihil. We go into Feral Amp. We go into those boys. Uh and we're gonna settle on a M frame and a feral imp with a droplet and a Zoha in hand. We are going against Chaos. I don't even know what Chaos Chaos Yugi and uh Kaiba. Chaos Max. We draw the Harvey's Feather Dust to wipe away his back row. We're gonna send cards to the graveyard, put so many counters on him. That it's almost embarrassing. Then we're going to activate the effect of curse. The effect of curse will give him a monster. And then give us back a monster. Send one of our good monsters from my hand to the graveyard. Bring the hill. And look we're searching again with Feral Imp. Oh and there goes Lamia. We're going to target his card. We're going to take that 1400. And we're going to drop it. Then we're going to go for Echidna. With the Forbidden Droplet. Negate the effect of cards. Then take cards to zero. Special Summon of Vasky. And then popping the Blue Eyes Chaos Max. And now we've assumed control and I'll tribute all three of my monsters to put up what is effectively Zeus. Uh saying I can send anything from the field to the graveyard once per turn and I will do just that. And that is exactly thirty one hundred left. And we win. <coughs> so uh ooh, this is against Dino. Can we get a swap? Or do we have to play Dino? Okay, so he uh gets his indulgence, fossil digs, going to the diamond dinosaur, uh, baby Cerasaurus, 
will summon Soul Eater. Uh, Miscellaneous Service will do its shenanigans, giving us another baby summon service. There goes Link Karibo. Um, there goes Diamond Dinosaur popping again, and this guy is popping off. And there goes UCT. Oh, this looks like it's going to get nasty. And he has the Doka. What are we going to do here? Well, we're going to start off with the Forbidden Droplet. And we're going to negate the two main problems. Normal Summon. There goes Feral Imp. Oh, we're able to search. And there goes Lamia. Lamia is going to target the Delta, Turn into zero. We'll take the 23. And we're going to get rid of the two cards that were problems for us. We're going to pop the uh, Link Karibo. We're going to turn another card to zero. Uh, making the Vespi over there. And uh, now that we have that, we can activate the effect. We can tribute, make him summon the card back. Then we summon Zoa. Get a card in our hand that we will eventually drop. Nihil effect will summon itself. And there goes Feral Imp again, getting us another search for the Evil Dragon Anata. And now we're just going to play with him. Pause. <laughs> we're just going to get that Link Karibo out of here with the Vespi and A&M frame. With the evil dragon in hand. Now this is dinosaurs. And we know dinosaurs pop off amazingly. So. This is a meta deck. And there goes the reptilia Vasti. I mean there goes the evil dragon and Nada Because we could not let UCT do what it was about to do. And he drops another UCT with an abyss dweller. Man this looks like it's game. And there it is. Man, that guy just popped all the way off on us, right? Did we have? Did we get another one with that guy? I think we do. I'm not sure. Uh, but this guy here, a little change of pace. He says he's gonna spell mining us, but uh, he has nothing to uh, save there. So uh, yeah, we're gonna go uh, with our tune alligator. Drop with the null, the nihil, and once again, you see. We get to the Feral Imp, we get our searches, and, you know, a Snake Rain doesn't help. I mean, doesn't hurt. Uh, Tsuchi on the field with a Vespin. Twin Twist, I mean, <laughs> Monarch Stormforth will drop the end of Anubis on us and crush our Tsuchi Noko as he sets the Darbo Magic Armbind, Forbidden Lance, and uh, <clears throat> the Rescue Rabbit to the Shock Troop to the Echidna. Turn them to zero, take that 200, and have a good day. And if you guys, this is actually Q. This is actually Leo Man Q. I, I noticed the deck at the beginning. I had to think about it real quick. Uh, so Rescue Rabbit into the second uh, chain uh, combo of normal reptiles. He goes into the mistake, which was very nice. But now the mistake that he made was letting me make Zeus. And um, that's the game, actually. right we're gonna wipe those cards off the field and banish everything and he's overnight okay and um you see so it can go either way at that point just gotta look like i've been testing for so long so when you see this you know i haven't just like i didn't just like some decks i just make and it's like okay this i can do this combo here and I really like this deck. Like, this is one of those decks I think that if anybody, like, if you're a good player, you're a solid tier 1.5 player, like, you, you you know the game, you have some knowledge of combos and history and how to play cards and when to play cards, simple stuff like that. Decks like this, I think, brings that nostalgia factor back because you can combo off crazy or you can simply say, I want to play a little more slower, more control-oriented and actually think a couple turns ahead, you know? And uh, <clears throat> we're going against, I guess it's um, Dragma Albaz. We start off with our Rescue Rabbit into the Toon Alligator. Rescue Link combo or Rescue Spider combo. Um, turn the monster to zero. They go to Echidna. I mean, these abysmal cards, they just work so perfect. Like, they just do things. He hits us with an encounter, and he thinks he's going to fuse away our guys. Uh, yes, he's going to get the fuse away. There goes Stigmata out. But uh, Stigmata's effect will banish and let them fuse again. And now, 
I'm going to drop a Lammy and take that 3500 really 2500 and we're going to go for another one. And uh, you know what time it is. Vasti comes out, removes the threats, pops, and this is game. Uh, right? No, no, actually, would be game. And I don't even think I'm playing Zeus at this time. Sorry. I, am. I, don't, uh, I couldn't do it because the Reptilia Echidna uh, says you can only summon reptiles that time. So he goes with the stigma of white, goes in the deer servant. He gets the pot with NTSS, and then he's starting to go off with his uh, Dogmatica cards. Uh, he gets a negate off, and man, 200, another 200, 2,000. We only have a Dark Ruler No More set, and he got that NTSS going, pops my Dark Ruler No More. But we have top deck the monster reborn so we're gonna go for that twin alligator we're gonna activate that monster reborn we're gonna go for an m shock we're gonna send to the grave our big guy we're gonna activate curse curse effect we're gonna give us zora and then we're gonna bring nil and uh funny enough that's game tributing for the og smack over so even in that situation man if you give us a chance we still have plays and, and the dexterity of this deck, the flexibility, like the ability to have offense and defense, very rare, and to be able to play through certain hand traps and stuff. Um, so we just go for the combo, pitch a card, and then we normal summon, special summon the guys out, search. Um, we want to get our hand ready. One of the things I love doing is you want to search <laughs> Tsuchinoko when you basically have nothing and just, you know, get a free summon off of it. Uh, so we've made our second uh, Feral Imp now. We add the Lamia to hand, go with the Vespin, and we're going to end with the Shock Frame and the extra card in hand, and we're going to get captured. Oh, my goodness, the top deck. <laughs> I would have quit, too. <laughs> oh, man. We had Torrential, <laughs> Lost Wind, Trap Tricks, Trap Tricks, Trap Tricks, Trap Hole, Nightmare. The Grave Diggers trap hole, and um, it didn't matter because we drew. <laughs> uh, so, this is game two with Q, the Leo Man Q right here. And uh, he's playing heroes. He says, Nah, man, we we didn't like what you did to us last time. We're playing heroes. And uh, I start off with Snake Rain. He said, Nah, we're not having that. But the card I sent was uh, Tsuchinoko. And so. We're going to go with Disparity and just banish three cards. I think it's more proficient with this card to banish three instead of six. We get the Rescue Rabbit, and we're going into Rescue Shenanigans. So we go for the Search, and now we add to the Hand the Hill, and we send Curse. Curse will tribute the Tsuchinoko. Curse Effect will special back then the Hill, and then we will go into M-Frame. <coughs> Attacking with M-Frame and Feral Imps, making the Zeus, setting the M-Perm, and Man, the Zeus, like, Zeus in this deck, and even Vespinite, makes this deck so much, um, it gives such uh, stability to the deck, because I'm not planning to OTK you with this deck, it's probably possible, but I really want to just set up and, like, know that I can compete with you next turn, and Zeus kind of makes it like, man, Whatever you do next turn, you better have backup on top of backup because I'm just gonna I'm just gonna wipe everything out anyway. And I, I really like how that works. Um it helps this deck. Uh, uh Zeus is no doubt a great card. But um back to the duel. We see a dystopia be dropped and I have the end perm for it. And I will I kinda tricked them, baited them in there with the uh with this, the M frame to get a special summon. And then I sent everything away anyway. Um, he gets his draw hand back, forces us both to draw, and the card he forced me to draw just happens to be Rescue Rabbit. So we've been getting some luck there. The Echidna effect will turn on a zero and give me a search, and that will bring out the Evil Dragon. And now she's at 54. And <laughs> I was almost salty when I saw the, uh, the Neos. Okay, so another win. He's racking up wins over here, right? And uh, I 
think this is the last of the replays. Um, we're going against a barrel dragon deck, which is lovely to see. Keep bandit, uh, cards. Hope they bring out some more support. We start off with disparity. We get ourselves to the rescue rabbit with the Kage to Kage. Um, now we're gonna go for Link Spider shenanigans. Link Spider into the Toon Alligator into the Feral Imp. We're gonna add Lamia, of course. We're gonna bring Echidna. Echidna effect turn that to zero. We're gonna attack over that. But uh, I guess his effect activated. <coughs> he tried to pop my Zeus, but it didn't work. Then he tried to fuse my stuff away, so I sent his stuff away. And um, now we just win the resource war, right? We're going to go with the Toon Table of Contents. Another disparity. Uh, Going to search three. Um, Search for Dark Ruler no more. Go for Zoha. And we're just going to punch at this point. With the triple tactic talents in hand, the Dark Ruler no more. Doesn't really matter. He tries the Twin Barrel. Doesn't work. Kills itself so he can special summon Desperado Barrel. And it does work. Popping Zeus. But we draw the Kaiju. And um, Desperado when it's sent to the graveyard. Desperado when it's sent to the graveyard. Let's do a search. The Kaiju for the Lamia. You know, go into the Feral Imp. Nihil sends Curse. Send the Lamia. You can have your dragon back or your machine back. But I don't think it matters because I'm going to search. Now the card that's what is this soul charge for reptiles? Um, <laughs> make them both zero. Bring Vasky, um, Vaspi, Vaspi, yes. Oh my, oh, this is. <laughs> I did that wrong, and it still it didn't even matter. Ninety six thousand. Evil Dragon Anada. So you have boss monsters. You have searchability. You actually do have draw power in this deck. Um, the the tuner. I don't even not sure I can show it now, but um, uh, I can show it through thing. Let's go. But this card, Reptilian Hydra, she um, she can pop monsters with zero attack, and then you can draw with her. So you technically do have draw power. You do have draw power. This deck has pretty much all the tools you need to be able to compete which is the ability to flood the field the bill the ability to draw the ability to remove cards off the field um and the ability to search get to your your plays um but some boss monsters this deck uh, it's fun to play it's one of my favorite decks playing right now and um that's all i got to say about it man rescue reptiles uh Love to see you guys try it out. Hopefully, we can take this to tournament and give some guys some fits. So, um, that's going to do it for today, guys. Uh, you can put your paddles away and bring them out another day. This is Enthesian from Team In Them Cheeks signing off. Thank you.